Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will learn about diode load line analysis. Now, uh, before we start the actual uh, topic, let's build a story. Suppose a gentleman, uh, he wants to rent a house and he went to the property dealer and they said that the there is no rent if you live on the top floor, sixth floor and if you live on the ground floor the rent will be 60k and for other floors we just follow this linearity of this graph okay so he was a mathematician like us so straight away he, he picked a point named it sixth floor and he picked the other point named it 60k the rent so this is the rent and this is the floor part and then he drew a line so this is the load line and let's say he, he plotted everything on a graph so we'll have these values these points and now the other part of the story is that his wife uh, uh, does job and she earns 10,000 rupees as a house rent. So now we plug in or plug in this graph on this to find out which floor they're going to afford. Okay, so once we have plugged in this, you can see this is the point of intersection. So that means they can afford fifth floor with a uh, rent of 10K. So this point is now called the operating point and we can write it uh, in bracket as fifth floor and 10k rent. So this is a very crude way of explaining what is load line and what is operating point. But I hope this will give you some idea. Now let's solve the actual problem. Okay, this is the circuit. Yeah a diode and a resistor and the supply voltage we can write the KVL equation minus E plus VD plus VR minus E plus VD plus VR equals 0 and therefore E is VD plus VR VR we can write IDR because the ID current is flowing through this so VR is ID into R now from here we will find the two extreme points when VD is 0. So we put VD 0, therefore ID will be E divided by R. So this point we name E divided by R. The other extreme is when ID is 0, when the current is 0 here, then current 0, then VD will be equal to E. So we write here point E and then we join the two and this is our load line. So we, we got this ID and we got VD is equal to E, these two points. Now remember that the load line is defined by the network, not the property or the characteristics of the diode. The characteristics of the diode is a separate thing, it is defined by the type of diode that we are using. Okay, now finally, as we saw in the previous uh, example or story, we combine the two, so we bring it here, and the intersection of the load line and the characteristics line, this is the characteristics line of the diode. So this point is called the Q point or operating point. Q is for quotient, quotient means temporarily quiet. And the uh, current related to the Q point is called ID Q and the voltage related is called VDQ. Now let's do this example. For the series diode configuration of this, diode characteristics is given here. Find the VDQ and IDQ that is the question point voltage and question point current. And then in part B we got to find the 
voltage here across resistance V R. So as we have learned, this is the formula. We find the two extremes. So when putting this zero, we find I D. I D is E over R. E is 10 volt from here. R is one kilo. So our extreme point on the current line is 10 milliampere. Similarly, VD, we put ID zero, so ID zero means this term becomes zero, so VD is equal to E and E is 10 volt. So we have got the two extreme points. We draw the uh, uh, load line, 10 milliampere and 10 volt and we connect. And now we plug in the characteristics curve. So we plug in the characteristics curve here and the intersection is called the Q point. So Q point is approximately 9.25 milliampere from here and from here you can see it is approximately 0 0.78 volt. So VDQ is 0 0.78 and IDQ is 9.25. So we have done the first part second part we can use either of the two formulas this is what we got so we'll use this values here to find VR now VR can be found as VR is IDR IDR ID we, are, we know 9.25 milliampere IDQ multiply by 1 kilo R so 9.25 volt is VR another way of finding VR is by using this formula that is VR is E minus VD E minus VD E is 10 volt VDQ we found from here is 0 0.78 so the value is 9.22 they should be same but there is some uh, difference because of the uh, reading error of the graph so that is acceptable. Another example, uh, we've just followed the same pattern. Uh, the only change here is that instead of this one kilo, now uh, we'll be using two kilo resistor. And so we use the formula, calculate ID by putting now R is equal to two kilo. So it is five milliampere and VD is equal to E is, is equal to 10 volts. So these are the two extremes now. Draw this load line 5 milliampere and 10 volt and plug in the characteristics curve to find the Q point which is 4.6 milliampere approximately and the voltage here is approximately 0 0.7 volts. So these are the IDQ and VDQ. So first part we have got and second part again on the same way VR is IR into R or ID into R plugging in the values it is 9.2 or the other way the VR is E minus VD so 10 minus 0 0.7 is 9.3 so there again a close and some differences because of the reading error of the graph. And final thing. Uh, this is the normal diode characteristics we are using. Uh, we may like to simplify it by using the diode approximation model. In the approximation model, we just uh, assume that the diode voltage is 0 0.7 volt constant uh, for the silicon diode. So we draw this line as a straight line. Instead of uh, this curvature line, we draw the straight line. So this is uh, how we'll uh, use the approximation model. But if you want to use ideal model, the ideal model says that there is no voltage drop across the diode. That is the voltage drop across the diode is zero. That means this line will shift towards left to the zero axis. So this is the diode characteristics line. So we'll be using, uh, using this also in the future. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to calculate the question points for diode. Thank you.